Hey there, thanks for joining me today. We're doing a little bit of maintenance on a DJI Phantom Ford. We're gonna replace the bottom shell um, on this one. So join me, we'll show you how it's done. Hey there, all right, so we're gonna do another maintenance thing here. We're gonna replace the bottom shell on the DJI Phantom, um, at least attempt to. I've done it. A little bit of research on it, watch some YouTube videos of other folks that have done it. It doesn't seem like it's that complicated. All, all the electronics things seem to be on the actual top shell, which I thought was reversed. Um, so we'll kind of get into it, change it, and see. We got a really good deal on this one. Um, again, just got to replace the bottom shell and just go from there.
right, so now we've got our DJI Phantom 4 Obsidian. I thought of version 2, maybe not, but we replaced the lower shell just recently and we're going to take it for a test flight, see how it does. Uh, the other owner I bought it from, it was crashed, so I got a good deal on it. I had to repair that and repair the uh, camera on it, so I got the Pro Remote, so we'll see how this works out. So we do have some limited space in the front yard here, and of course the horses came to check out us flying, so we'll see how they react to it. I know that one of them is going to probably freak out, but <laughs> hope for the best. So as you saw, we successfully replaced the lower shell on our DJI Phantom 4 Pro. The rebuild was pretty straightforward. Um, I did watch some other folks' videos before I got started on how they took the shells apart to kind of see the step-by-step -step process. Again, I have an understanding before I got into the drone. Um, used some basic tools for it, some normal Allen wrenches, uh, screwdrivers and things. No fancy tools, no special tools were required for that. The difficult part of the build, I would say, is the legs because of the wiring in the legs. You have to disconnect the plug inside of the leg and then feed it back through the body and plug it back in because the connector from the leg to the board is too big. It doesn't fit back through the holes. Um, if I had to do the build again, I would replace the legs because I noticed there's a few cracks in the legs, but it's not going to affect the overall performance of it. Uh, but very happy with the rebuild. Just a quick note, too, is that on the Phantom 3s, um, all the electronics were on the lower shelf, so that's what kind of concerned me about doing this rebuild. On the Phantom 4s, all the electronics are on the top of the shell, so the bottom is a relatively the easy part to replace. Um, again, I kind of sped the video up to show just the overall process, uh, not to go step by step through it, but if you have any questions, feel free to ask or look online for other folks' videos that show you how to do that. Uh, thanks for joining me in this one. Hope you like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.